Hey guys, Glen Trayer, Trayer Wilderness. I uh, hope everybody's doing well out there. Um, I know I said I'd make a video on this, and uh, I wanted to uh, show you what I use in the winter time to keep my traps from freezing down, freezing up. Uh, I had to pull some sets today, but uh, I wanted to show you. It rained for like a day and a half here and then there was snow falling off the trees falling onto the traps and stuff and it was it was really really wet and the stuff down in my trap bed was still dry so I wanted to show you this um, I don't know of anybody else out there using it that uh, I can find it's not peat moss or anything like that, but I just want to show you this here. It's uh, spruce boughs, or not boughs, the underneath spruce trees, how it, uh, the decaying matter. I sift it out in the summer and put it in these barrels and use it now. And it doesn't freeze up. You might get a crust on the top, but it doesn't freeze up so far. And I've been testing this for about two years now. Um, and I personally have not had any trouble with it, so, but I want to show you what this looks like. Okay, um, I put it in these barrels here, and I just put it underneath this tin. But this here, this is what it looks like. It's just the decaying, and you can pack it in pretty tight. I mean, it might not look like it, but when you're packing your uh, trap in, to get it good and tight you can actually pack this in uh, pretty pretty tight I mean obviously it's not going to be as tight as uh, regular dirt uh, but you can get it good that your trap is good and solid but uh, yeah this stuff this stuff is actually really amazing but it's just from underneath spruce trees I know some people won't be able to do that because they don't have spruce trees but uh, yeah this stuff works works amazing it, I had trouble with peat moss freezing up on me um, and buckwheat hulls you can't bed it real good uh, stuff like that but this stuff if you're where there's spruce trees and you got a great big old spruce tree and it was you know the nettles and stuff have fallen over the years and really mounded up uh, go in underneath there sift this stuff out it works great it don't freeze up at least like I said it hasn't froze up on me I get like a crust out over the top of it but that's about it so yeah like I said I haven't seen anybody or heard of anybody else using this stuff um, so hopefully uh, this helps somebody out and uh, you can get out there and do some traps and stuff that get them out there and they won't freeze in for you so I guess with that being said, guys, take care, God bless, and we'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one.